Hello friends, Sam here. So today what we are going to talk about whenever you develop MuleSoft project so different mule processors they deal with mule message so what is this mule message what is the structure of the mule message so basically mule message divided in two part so it is exactly look like this so you can see uh, the top part is nothing but attributes and the bottom part of the mule message is nothing but payload now what do you mean by payload? Payload is just the attached data. Maybe sometime it is XML content, sometime it is CSV content or any kind of attached data that is nothing but payload. And attributes, there are different attributes depending on the mule processor. So whenever mule message is concerned with uh, different mule processors, name of attributes get changed. But the top part is attributes inside the mule message and the bottom part is nothing but payload okay now uh, for example let me open one project and you can see in this project let me take that here and you can see i do have http listener logger and one more logger so http listener now this particular connector whenever it deals with mule message so attributes which are the attributes involved in this case let me show you that so mule message is represented by the context object that is the standard object created by mule soft the object name is message so i show you that i show message so you can see message now if i say dot you can see there are attributes and payload as i told you mule message contains attributes and payload that's what is getting uh, shown over here whenever i give dot it shows payload and attributes now if i want to access payload i can simply select payload over here let me go back here so i will simply select payload or if i want to access attributes now if i want to see which all attributes are available in this case i will go to attribute and if i press dot it will give me all the attributes like listener path and raw request path and query parameter uri parameter these are the attributes which are there in case of http listener if you use file polar that file uh, on new or upload that kind of component let's say let me show you that so file so if you use this let's say if you use this file on new or updated file in that case attributes will be different let me show you that so let me delete this let me delete this and let me take that file on new or updated this is another kind of connectors related to file that was http this is related to file now if i use file here and if i try to see the attributes inside the message just have a look on that if i say dot here let me see message and i give attributes and i give dot and now what you can see observe carefully these attribute names are different so depending on the processor connector the attributes will be different so for file related connector attributes are different for http related connector attributes are different but this is the structure is same for all kind of connectors one part is attributes and another part is payload and as i said message is the context object which is used to access all elements of this mule message so uh, mule message will be utilized by all the processors in your integration project okay so i hope this video is helpful for you i am giving all my point of contacts in the description so just get in touch with me if you need any help friends Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.